today is the 3rd August 2023. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow. So guys, the US Embassy in Harare has expressed serious concerns about the irregularities observed during the harmonized elections in Zimbabwe held on August 23 and 24. These concerns include the arrest of civil society members. The embassy statement aligns with the views of other observer missions who say that the electoral process did not meet regional and international standards. Transparency, independence, fairness and credibility of the electoral process were questioned along with restrictions on the rights to freedom of assembly, association and expression. Reports of voter intimidation and the disfranchisement of candidates, especially women, were also highlighted. In a statement which was issued on social media, the embassy urges the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZEC to announce the results promptly and transparently. It calls on all stakeholders to maintain a peaceful environment and resolve any grievances through legal channels. So here's a statement from the U.S. Embassy and yes, on election. It's written here, the U.S. Embassy commends the Zimbabwean people, some of whom faced significant obstacles and delays, who exercised their right to vote on August 23 and 24. While the election days were predominantly peaceful, the electoral process thus far did not meet many regional and international standards. We share the deep concerns expressed by SEDEC and other international electoral observation mission. SEDEC's August 25 preliminary statement noted the elections fell short of the requirements of the Constitution of Zimbabwe, the Electoral Act, and the SEDEC principles and guidelines governing democratic elections 2021. These missions cited problems with the transparency, independence, fairness, and credibility of electoral processes and injure restrictions on the rights to freedom of assembly and association and freedom of expression that are guaranteed by Zimbabwe's constitution and reflected in regional guidelines. Reports of voter intimidation and the disfranchisement of candidates, particularly women, we are also gravely concerned by the arrest of civil society members that we believe we are conducting lawful, non-partisan election observation work. The Zimbabwean people demonstrated patience, calm and resilience while exercising their civil right to vote. In response to these irregularities, the opposition citizens called for change to C is called for new elections. The Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZEC declared President Emerson Nangagwa as the winner of the presidential election with Nelson Chamisa of the Triple C as a runner-up. The ZANPF party secured the majority of National Assembly seats. So guys, that's the latest here. So in short, mass actions are asked to be anytime soon. Remember in September, the woman is watching a Chichi demonstrator banned the mass sanctions against the US. Fears of sanctions, five years of this and that about sanctions. And I guess so this is our weekly news roundup on Prince Milan Entertainment TV. Remember guys to like, share, comment and follow and I turn on the notification bell. Prince Miller Entertainment and our Facebook group which is a Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Bless up.